Okay, so some good news is coming in for you. And immediately next to is the letter. So you've been expecting this good news. You've been expecting news and it's going to be some good news. And maybe it's going to help you move forward and get over some obstacles or problems that you've been dealing with uh, recently. And that might be some financial problems that you've been dealing with. You've got the tree over here. So whatever you're doing right now is very established. It's growing. Uh, you know, abundance is slowly coming in. So um, also this is about good health. So if you've been having some health issues, it looks like that uh, is going to resolve itself as well very soon. Now you've got the uh, fish card over here, which is talking about money coming in and bringing in a lot of stability. Now there could be a new job offer coming in as well, because this is about the four of hearts, which is like the four of cups. So a new offer coming in as well, and it's, it's going to bring in a lot of finances. Now in the past, you've got the bear card over here. So you might have been dealing with a very, very difficult person or, you know, who is very overbearing. Uh, so somebody that's been giving you a lot of difficulties and a lot of problems. And like I said, you've been expecting or you've been uh, waiting for some news to come in. Uh, some kind of letter, some kind of official news. Now, this bear and this um, bear could also signify uh, waiting for some news from a really big, uh, you know, um, uh, a company, uh, a big business. Big business uh, um, usually is associated with the bear, and maybe you're waiting for some kind of news to come in from them as well. So, going into the future, you've got the hearts over there, heart over here. So, whatever you're going to do, um, you need to focus. It's going to bring in a lot of joy and happiness over here for you. Maybe you've been through a lot of difficulties or maybe a, little, a lot of problems and now you're getting over those problems uh, and you're refocusing your goals or, um, you know, um, you need to do that. You need to refocus uh, on, on your career goals or, or set yourself some new goals. You've got the stock card over here and this is usually about change, about movement uh, and, uh, you know, moving on. So um, relocating, moving home or, or even moving on to do a job somewhere else. So maybe you're waiting on news to come in so that you can make that move and leave behind a difficult situation that you've been dealing with. Whatever this new job is, it's going to generate a lot of finances and it's going to be a pretty well established job. It might be a family business that you're working with as well because you've got that tree over there. So, uh, and if you're dealing with any health issues, it looks like those resolve themselves as well. So those are the energies for that particular week or two weeks rather. So I'm going to be doing uh, using the um, Law of Attraction Tarot for the main read. I have shuffled this deck. Okay, so you've got the Ace of Cups over here. So it looks like some kind of new offer coming in that's going to bring in a lot of abundance. Uh, it might even be an opportunity for you to do some further learning or for some further study because the Cups cards is always about education as well. So there's some kind of offer coming in for you and it's going to be very, very good and make you very, very happy. But also there's that opportunity to learn or to study as well. So you've been dealing with a very difficult circumstance. You've got this five of uh, swords over here. You can see you've been feeling very, very down. That arrow is going all the way down. And it looks like, you know, people have been putting you down or, you know, you've been uh, taken advantage of. Um, you know, you've been... Uh, they they haven't been speaking to you very nicely because swords is about people trying to restrict you mentally or trying to put you down put down your ideas or you know almost squash you if you like with this um, uh, swords cards so a lot of difficult energies a lot of nasty energies that you've been dealing with and that has really taken a hit on your self confidence so they've been very critical of you and um, you know causing, stirring up a lot of problems and, um, you know, saying really nasty things to you. And you can see that uh, you've got that uh, eight of rods over here, but you've got this whip, uh, whipped cream over here. So whatever they've been doing has got you in, in quite a tiz, really, if I can use that word. So, it, you know, whatever they've been saying has been causing a lot of problems, a lot of uh, hassles. They've been, uh, you know, maybe there's been a lot of demands on you, but maybe a lot of challenges. Maybe uh, these people have all been very difficult and all been coming at you all at the same time. And, you know, it's been uh, almost a verbal abuse kind of situation that you have been dealing with um, at this particular moment. And it looks like you just want to get things off and move on. So whatever they've been doing, they've been stirring up a lot of problems over here for you. And, uh, you know, they've been saying some really nasty things that have really brought you down. 
So uh, you've got that Queen of Cups over here. And, um, sorry, um, yeah, the Queen of Cups over here. And this is about wanting to start something brand new, but also feeling very, very depressed, very isolated, very lonely. Uh, it looks like you've got a new plan that you want to put into play. Uh, but, uh, you know, also uh, you've been feeling, uh, you know, there's a lack of confidence over there. Uh, and maybe you've been crying a lot as well about whatever's been going on. Um, now you've got uh, the sun card coming in over here. So you've been working a lot of late hours, long hours, uh, you know, very, very much tied to that particular job. But success has been coming in for you with the sun card. So uh, even though it seems like, you know, things are not... Um, uh, you know, going quite well at the moment. There is that sun rising slowly over here. So something brand new coming in. It looks like there might be somebody around you that is going to help you get through this particular problem as well. So with the sun card, even though you've been working long hours and working very, very hard, putting a lot of effort in it, into it, you will see the fruits of your labors. So success will be coming in. So let's see what's on your mind. It looks like, you know, you have got this um, deadline that you wish to meet. Um, you know, it looks like you feel as though time is running out with this hourglass over here. So there's some kind of time uh, issue going on as well. And you want to walk away from that circumstance. You feel like maybe it may be eating away your time. Maybe it's, there's no scope for promotions or scope for advancements. And you're planning on leaving it and walking away from it. So now you've got the Ten of Rods over here. So whatever's been going on over here is now coming to an end. So this cycle is coming to an end. You've got this Ten of Rods. So it has been a difficult, challenging, a lot of responsibilities, a lot of drama going on over here. The Rods card is about, you know, action. So people have been very vindictive and nasty to you. And now it looks like that particular cycle is ending and you are now going to be able to move away. So things are about to change for the positive for you. And you, it seems like, you know, you are aware of that. You've been through a lot of drama. This is the Ten of uh, Swords over here. So whatever problems you've been dealing, away, uh, dealing with, it's almost like a tsunami that hit you here. It looks like you have come out uh, maybe a little bit injured from that particular circumstance, but you are now going to be moving away from it. So whatever that situation is, there may have been some legal ending to that situation, um, and you need to walk away from it, or you need to move away from it. And that's where you are. You are moving away. You've got two tens over here, so it seems like the cycle of abuse or whatever's been going on, misery seems to be over. Uh, and it looks like there has been some kind of legal uh, ending to this particular situation. You've got this nice of swords over here. You are also determined to get forward, and you are very very, very defensive right uh, right now uh, you're almost expecting the next battle to come on so you are speaking your truth you're standing up for yourself but also this could have been uh, ended in some kind of legal um, there could have been a legal ending or legal settlement to this particular situation now, what you want is victory over whatever's happened. You want this nine of cups so you want to be able to achieve your goals and you want victory to come in you want that wish fulfillment to come in you want things to work out very positively. So going into the future, you've got this three of rods over here, the knight of um, um, rods, as well as the two of pentacles. So it looks like um, you are going to... Um, be able to move on. You are now going to be uh, working with a lot of people because the Three of Rods is about collaborating. But the Three of Rods is also about international movement or international travel or working with an international audience as well. So um, you've got uh, this Knight of Rods over here and this is talking about international travel. So you might be relocating to do this particular job. So it looks like with both cards working with a group of people on an international basis, putting out a lot of communications and even traveling, planting the new seeds for this new job that you're doing. So you might be going and starting a new project overseas somewhere and you are going to be traveling to do that particular job. And here you are trying to make a decision about whether or not you want to accept it. So you are sitting and considering this. And since they're in a, a, a sort of a train station kind of thing, making a decision, you've reached that fork uh, in the road and now you have to choose whether you want to stay put in this particular job that you're doing or you want to move on. And it seems like you do want to move on. You've got that Ten of Swords over here. So the end of a very, very difficult situation, and it looks like you're going to make a decision to actually move on, uh, choose a different pathway in life and move on. And it looks like you're going to be doing a lot of travel, and it might be some kind of international-based job as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the fairy tarot. <laughs> Oh, my cat is giving me so much grief today. <laughs> okay, and let's see what it's got to say. Um, so you've got the High Priestess card over here, which says, Trust your intuition and careful reflection before taking action. Insights that come through meditation. So uh, think carefully. Do a lot of research about the situation before you actually make a decision. And then you've got the High Priest um, uh 
the high priestess is carrying this book. So whatever this job is, it's going to require a lot of study as well. So you might have to do a lot of research, but it also might open the door to study. Now, um, you had that ace of uh, cups over here, which is talking about maybe this involves further training or further study as well. So this is opening the door to that. So you might be dealing with a lot of information or you might be teaching or you might be actually going and doing some further study, but it involves some kind of knowledge-based a job that you're going to be doing. You've got the Princess of Spring, and this is also about travel. It's time to go after your dreams, do something that expands your horizons, and let your creativity take flight. So it looks like whatever you're going to be doing is going to involve travel, uh, or it's going to involve a lot of movement. You've got a, a ship coming in over here. You've got this, um, you know, they're in some kind of... Uh, there's maps in the back over there. There's a lot of travel with this, that Two of Pentacles over here. And that's Knight of Rods. It's about travel and... the. Um, Three of Rods is also about international travel. So this job seems to be something that's going to involve a movement or in, involve international travel for you. And now you've got this Princess of Spring that says, go after your, your dreams and broaden your horizons. So this means that, you know, you are going to be dealing with a, a greater in, uh, audience, a more international audience. And then you've got that Six of Summer, which says, um, the return of people uh, from your past, remembering events differently, uh, in a better or worse light and then how they really occurred. So it seems like you're going to make contact with somebody from your past, somebody that you've worked with in the past, and maybe this is the person that is going to be instrumental in helping you move forward um, or helping you... Um, uh, you know, maybe they're going to be offering you a new job, a new post, because you are coming to an end of a cycle with this particular job, and it looks like uh, there might be somebody that comes, returns from your past. And it looks, um, you know, you've got that six of cups over here on your mind as well. So it looks like you want to go back to some kind of old post that you did, um, and even with that six of summer over here. So there might have been somebody that you've already bumped into from the past, and maybe you're considering going back into working with them, because you are trying to make a decision about a job over here with this two of pentacles. So you're trying to make a choice about which job to take, uh, and it might be dealing uh, with work, working with somebody from your past. So you are at some kind of crossroads right now. Maybe somebody from the past has offered you a job, um, and you're considering taking it, and maybe this job that you're going to be doing is going to involve a lot of travel, and it's going to involve dealing with a lot of information, either as a teacher or as a person that's studying or uh, learning. Um, so whatever circumstance you're dealing with, there seems to be some kind of legal news as well coming in, some kind of official news coming in as well for you. So I hope this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.